it is a surprise it is a surprise that you have mamata banerji and sharad pawar coming together to stitch opposition unity on presidential reports opposition unity you know something that has only been spoken of but we've hardly seen anything like an opposition unity in a long 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 time again and again you see an opposition that is fragmented you see fissures you see an opposition where a lot of political leaders a lot of political parties do not see eye to eye they fight each other on a number of states they hold different opinions on uh, different issues so the very fact that you have the opposition parties meeting together sitting across the table and talking of one common issue is a success it is a success who would have thought that you could have the left and the tmc who do not again see eye to eye coming across and talking on putting a joint candidate for the upcoming presidential elections that is a resolve that has been put forward in this meeting now one can say that there was partial success partial success in this move in the step that has been taken by the opposition despite certain very very notable challenges notable differences who all did not attend this the aam aadmi party the trs the bjd the vysr cp now earlier there was a report indicating that perhaps the vysr cp was not invited until uh, this letter came out in public domain that said that mamta actually had written to jagan mohan reddy inviting him for this meeting but he did not turn up now bjd remember is a known case because bjd for a long long time has been equidistant from either camps navin patnaik does not want to project himself as to you know be belonging to a particular group whether that is the congress's camp or the bjp's camp the aam aadmi party has said that they will follow up later with whatever decision the opposition takes as in they want the opposition first to finalize a candidate name a candidate and depending on that they said that they will take forward this decision whichever way so mamata banerji sharad pawar working together could this just be the first sign of an opposition getting together the opposition getting together is one could this be the first sign you never know at least for once we have seen this at least for once today we've seen this in the pictures in the body language in a lot of reactions that came in later and not to forget there has been a notable a significant climb down in the position of the congress party vis-a-vis mamata banerjee because again remember you have seen a lot of comments coming in from either sides a uh, lot of finger pointing that you've seen each side doing a lot of charges that were traded so keeping that in mind it's a notable climb down in the congress's position could this be an indication of a changed attitude in changed circumstances a realization perhaps dawning now on certain political parties and their netas that these are different times these are changed times so you need to change yourself too you know just sitting on your high horse is not going to be helping anyone's cause and perhaps perhaps they realized the weight the pressure the expectations and also of late the targeting the alleged targeting by the bjp of the opposition parties now see this is a charge that almost every opposition party has made that the center misuses agencies to target them so you know could this again be one of the rallying points as far as the opposition goes because ever since you've seen rahul gandhi being called by the enforcement directorate for questioning 
You've seen comments now coming in, whether it's an Akhilesh Yadav, whether it is M.K. Stalin of the DMK, standing in support of the Congress party. Now, there is another truth. There is another hard fact here that selecting a candidate is not going to be easy. It is not easy at all. And winning is almost impossible. Yes, you heard that right. Winning is almost impossible. And that too when you're fighting versus the BJP. Uh, and if you do not have a rock solid opposition unity, that does make matters worse. Something that again is still a challenge for the opposition today. And is that challenge, is that realization now dawning upon the opposition that unless and until we come together, we put up a fight, we speak as one, we act as one, our future is doomed. It could be a battle of their own survivors. There is also a big message, a big message in the meeting, in the reactions that came in later. What is that big message? The big message is that they looked or they appeared today to be trying at least. At least that is the kind of picture that came out, that they are trying. They are at least trying to put up a united front and send a larger message that we are the opposition, we are trying, we will fight. Uh, also, another hard fact that the president's election is a symbolic fight. It is a symbolic fight. It has been in the past. We have seen this. Uh, talking of the numbers, the NDA is not very far from, uh, you know, being able to install its own nominee at the Raisina Hills. But what about the opposition? You know, Opposition unity, again, is going to be tested at a number of levels, whether they continue to stay like this or not. Now, if someone like a Gopal Gandhi is agreed upon when it comes to the opposition, because again, this is a name that is doing the rounds vis-a-vis -vis the opposition scam. So if someone like a Gopal Gandhi is agreed upon, if he is chosen as the nominee from the opposition for the presidential race, then what is the message? What is the symbolism of a Gopal Gandhi? The message of Gandhism amidst the surcharge atmosphere that we have seen of dividing, polarization, that's going to be extremely significant. So that is why I say the messaging of whoever is picked whatever candidate the opposition decides is going to be very, very, very significant. That who is the candidate that they decide to project and what is the symbolism of choosing that candidate and what is the message that they will give out to a lot of other netas also today who are not present for this opposition meet and to the public at large for the big elections of 2024. Now, see, it may even turn out to be an event where you need to parade an alternative ideology, secularism, etc. Because you would remember that again and again, this is a question that is asked of the opposition, that what do you stand for? What is that big idea that you have going ahead for 2024? What is that ideology that you stand for? What are your values? What is it that you want to do? So the pick of the opposition candidate now for the upcoming presidential elections could hold answers to the politics in the country going ahead, leading up to the big battle of 2024. So like I said, this is a test for the opposition. It's a litmus test. We'll have to see where the story goes. For the moment, Mamata Banerjee and Sharad Pawar have been able to get some semblance of opposition unity. That message has gone out. Whether the opposition is able to retain this message, make it stronger or not, 
is something that time only will tell. We'll track that story and much more for you as always promised here. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the news that you don't get for the moment. Thank you.